In this video, we're going to be using Shave Line NDB by Straight Gold Shave and the Above the Top SSH1 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Shave Line NDB by Straight Gold Shave, their Straight Gold's logo. And this was a soap that was made for the Smiles for Miles. Uh, show that's called Shave Line NDB on Instagram Live. I believe it airs on Sunday, and there is a picture of what represents, I guess, uh, Smiles. He used to be a skateboarder, I'm told, and so it's a pretty awesome uh, label there, I think. And there you have, uh, it says, uh, hello, my name is Shave Cave. Shave Cave used to be on that show, but I don't think he is at the moment. But nonetheless, this is a really nice scent. And what does this soap smell like? Smells like this. Now, I happen to have the aftershave right here. I also have the EDT. It smells like Calvin Klein Obsession. And I got to tell you, Strike Gold Shave, they really do inspire or dupe scents really, really well. Because this one, it smells really, really nice. I like it a lot. Off the Puck, and there it is, by the way. Scent strength is slightly under medium. But once I lathered it up, those notes really started coming out, and it's at least medium. It smells really, really nice. I'll put the notes for you on the screen right there again this is inspired by calvin klein it's a really nice scent it's been around for a long time many people really enjoy it and i hope to enjoy it today as well this is in the strike gold shade patriot base which i think is an underrated base it's really really nice we'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there and the consistency of it is soft but it's not too soft uh had no tr trouble whatsoever making a really nice uh, lather with it. The cost, I got this at Murphy & McNeil. I happened to be on the Murphy & McNeil website browsing and then saw it pop up and it was $23.99 for five ounces or $4.79 an ounce on our cost chart, which is fair price. But also keep in mind, uh, generally speaking, Murphy & McNeil uh, has free shipping, no minimum within the U.S. So we're going to enjoy using this today. Also today, I'm going to be using the Above the Tie SSH1. And one of the reasons I'm using this today is you only have a couple of days to buy above the tie razors at the prices they are now because price increases are going into effect on 1 September. So if you've been looking to buy an above the tie razor, like this one, for example, the SSH1, doesn't have to be this one, of course, but this is one I like, get it in the next day or two before September 1st. And when you do, use discount code IMCDB right there and you'll get 10% off. It also helps the channel, so thank you if you do, but only if you've been looking to buy an above the tie razor. If you have been, you might as well save yourself some money, both uh, by virtue of the fact that the prices are going up and use the IMCDB uh, discount code. I am using the um, SSH1 today, which is their most efficient offering. As far as I know, they list this one at 0.91 on the blade gap. They list the aggression at nine out of nine, and it's a very efficient razor. It's using the Atlas handle, and you know I gotta do the Atlas spin. I'll put my fingers right there, and because of this knurling, the razor will twist itself. I don't know why I'm entertained by that, I just am. Really nice barber pole type knurling on the Atlas handle. I absolutely love it, and we look forward to using this today. The blade is feather on its first use. Okay, enough talking. Let's get into the shade. We're gonna miss the face. And this is just plain water. And by the way, I will link the products that are available below. I put that information there as well as my social media links. If you're not following me on social media, I post all the videos and things like that. Take a look at those accounts and follow if you please. And we have a very nice lather here in our Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And the brush for today is the Dark Sanctum Ronin X, which looks really nice. This is a 3D printed brush and I've enjoyed using it thus far. All right, nice lather there. Really nice and deep. I hope you all are doing well today. Don't forget to check out the video from yesterday, which is uh, Ariana and Evan's cherry pie. There is a giveaway in that video, so you'll want to take advantage of that. And man, this smells nice. I really like it a lot. I know Marion the Barbarian has been talking about for at least the last year, year and a half, wanting a obsession Scented soap, and next thing you know, <laughs> Shave Line NDB had one made. So, Marion, here you go. I'm sure you will really like this one. And again, the Strike Gold Shave base is quite good. Um, 
it is really nice. It is easy to work with. The cost is nice. And I got to say, Strike Gold Shave does some excellent inspired scents. I find myself liking most of them. And they really do inspired scents or dupe scents, if you want to use that term, very well. So, all right. Let's get into the shave here today. I hope you all are doing great. I hope your Monday is off to a good start. And for me, the day always starts off with a shave. And it puts me on the right trajectory for the day. Just positive, just energetic, you know, it gets me going. All right, here we go. And again, this is an efficient razor. But keep in mind, that's nice. Above the tie has uh, many, many different plate offerings. The M is sort of their milder plate. So if you don't want a lot of blade feel or necessarily efficiency, M. The R is sort of the mid. Plate, and I'm speaking generally because they have a lot of different plate offerings. The R is usually the mid range, and the uh, H is usually their higher range, and that's in the Windsor um, line. Man, nice. That is just erasing whiskers. And the soap, just gliding on that soap effortlessly. Very nice, very nice. That is quite enjoyable. Above the tie here, been around a long time. As I mentioned, each time I use them, um, they're one of these sort of uh, OG premium razor makers, meaning they've been doing it a long time. 10 years now, I believe, at least. And it was one of the first razors that uh, I ever targeted in my list was, I want that above the tie razor, you know. Now, at the time, I got the R plate because uh, I was just graduating from mild razors and the R plate felt mighty efficient back then. But keep in mind, as time goes on, your preferences may change. You may find yourself wanting more efficient offerings or they, it may not. You may find that you just stick with your M or R and that is okay. This is a judgment-free zone when it comes to what you choose to shave with razor-wise. If it's a mild razor and it works great for you, use it, you know. If it's really aggressive and you like it, use it. Just use what works best for you. That's what we constantly try to hammer home here on the channel is, you know, the most important thing is your enjoyment and you getting great shaves every single day. That's really what we hope to achieve by uh, talking about traditional shaving. And it's why that I've been a long time uh, evangelist for traditional shaving is because this style of shaving, once you nail it down, once you learn your face, once you learn your gear, it's fantastic. You know, now I would say there is a learning curve early on, and you know you're going to have some weepers and creepers and so on. But over time, you should be able to nail your shaves um, without a lot of problems, irritation, cuts, weepers, creepers. And I always say, if you're getting weepers and creepers every single shave, every single time you may need to make some adjustments um, because you should not be shaving so aggressively that you're cutting yourself and you're getting a bunch of weepers every single time. Now, if you do and you enjoy that, that's still okay. But really, the, the goal is to get a really nice close shave with no bloodshed. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the goal. And, and, and to get a shave that's close, and that lasts you for several hours. Now, keep in mind, people's growth very wildly. Some people, you know, they shave and two hours later, you know, it doesn't look like they shave. <laughs> and some people, like me, I'm more on the, you know, medium side of the house, whereas it, it's not all that pronounced. You know, the shave will last several hours at least before you start feeling something. And it just varies. So you need to do what works best for you. But... If you're having a lot of bloodshed in every single shave, you may need to make some adjustments. And my um, my advice is be open to changing things and learning how to avoid that. Keep an open mind to different techniques, different ways of doing things, and see if you can't nail it down, you know, and maybe do less strokes or you know, some people like a more efficient razor like this and they do less strokes, which is less wear and tear on their face. And some people just prefer to do, use a, a mild razor and uh, maybe they have to do a few more strokes, but it doesn't bother them. And you just have to figure out what works best for you. 
because this is not a one size fits all sort of thing, traditional shaving. It really is uh, unique to the individual and you have to find the tools and techniques that work, work best for you. And that is truly the trick. That is really more important than the razors. It's more important than the soaps, assuming you have a decent quality shaving instrument and soap. And most are these days. If you're buying from a reputable artisan like Strike Gold Shave here, you know you're gonna get a good soap quality wise. If you're buying from above the tie, you know you're gonna get a good razor quality wise. So once you've established that you have a decent quality tool, it's all on you. The rest is on you. It's not really on the tool, it's on you to wield it properly. So you have to make the most of the tool, learn the tool and learn to use the tool effectively. And if you slip up every now and then, and we all do, including me, that's okay. There's no problem with that. But if it's a bloodbath every shave, you might want to go back and just look at what you're doing. I would, I would uh, recommend to, if you don't do videos, go ahead and record yourself shaving and watch what you're doing and go, oh, I see that weeper popped up at this time. Look at what you were doing at that particular time and see if you can make an adjustment to make it better. The goal here is to have people shaving better and feeling good about their shaves and starting their day on the up, you know, not going, not nursing a bunch of wounds. <laughs> and man, I tell you what, this soap smells nice. It is really, really nice indeed. All the gear today is really good. Good sheen on that lather. I know it doesn't come across in the video, but trust me when I tell you, it works well. Now, one of the things that you'll see me do here, I don't scrub much on my face because before my shaves, I take a shower. And I always say, you know, I. the other thing too, I'll make a different point. I don't really need backbone in, uh, in, in, in brushes. Uh, for me, it's not necessary. I need backbone to keep me standing erect while I'm in the shower scrubbing my face. I don't like to scrub my face with a brush. I did when I first started, but I have learned, and this goes back to what I told you earlier about learning what works best for you. I have learned that my face really appreciates if I use a fairly efficient razor most of the time, but I uh, go easy on applying the lather. So what I'm trying to do is just apply the lather from the brush to my face. I'm not doing a bunch of scrubbing. You can if you want to and if you enjoy it, but it is not required. So you can scrub your face and exfoliate and all that in the shower, if you please. But if you enjoy doing it, it's okay. But the reason I'm telling you this is have an open mind. Try different things and see what works best for you. What I'm telling you here or the way I do it doesn't mean it's going to work the best for you. You have to figure that out. And it's okay. Again, this is a judgment-free zone. <laughs> as long as you're being decent, you're advocating for the good word of this hobby, you have a place here. You, know, you have a friend in me. And I'm not going to judge you for your equipment. Um, and no one else should either, for that matter. So keep that in mind. But keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. I've changed things even within the last year or two. You know, keeping an open mind. So, And that has really made my shaves a lot better. Just being willing to learn. Remain teachable. I think I heard Latherhawk say that a couple years ago. Remaining teachable and remaining open to trying different things is really important in this hobby. All right, that is very nice. Nice smooth shave going here today. I tell you what, I am not wanting for anything because this is fantastic. I don't know if you can hear a little bit of feedback there. Slight, because I've already done two passes, you know. But the soap is top quality. It's very good. The razor here, nice, efficient. And this is just a fantastic shave, really enjoyable. And it gets me going. Super, super enjoyable. Very nice. Oh, they're above the tie. Still doing it well after all these years. And I must say, um, Mariah at Above the Tie reached out to me, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a year ago. You know, over six months ago. And, you know, I invited them on the uh, Real Talk show. And after that, I was like, you know, I need to use these above the tie razors. I think what happens is after something's on the market for a long time, people just kind of forget about them. And so I've been using them a lot more and, uh, you know, since they were on the show and I have enjoyed them. 
And I just bought one recently too. And so it was good 10 years ago and it's still good today. It's not always the most flashy of brands, but this is a razor that I tell you right now, this one brings the efficiency, maintains smoothness, made in the USA, well built. So I forgot to tell you the price on this one. This one is uh, 175. However, the brushed finish, which is a little more shiny, which I prefer, I have that razor too. Um, it's a little less expensive. So just go and look, you know, when you're shopping around at above the tide. But I do remind you, prices go up a little bit on what one September. So now's the time. And use the discount code IMCDB, save yourself some money. Helps the, helps my channel also, so I appreciate that if you do. However, only if you're looking to buy above the tie razor. Man, that was nice. Whew. Really good shave today. Nothing to complain about. I'm telling you, just excellent. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum. No stinging, so that was a nice, super smooth shave. I really enjoyed it. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel. And I just filled this bottle up, by the way. There's what the uh, bottle looks like when you get it. This is cucumber. I love this stuff. It's awesome. I had an excellent shave today. We achieved our goals, which was to have an enjoyable shave and to achieve no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave today with Shave Line NDB by Straight Gold Shave. Really good quality stuff. And of course, we love using our above the tie uh, SSH1, which is an efficient offering, but it provided for a glorious shave. I love it. Don't forget, price is going up September 1 and use discount code IMCDB for 10% off your order. Thank you. If you do, however, no pressure. Only if you're looking to buy an above the tie shaver. All right. What other gear did we use today? We used our Dark Sanctum Ronin X. I enjoyed it. And it is sitting in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, our Captain's Choice bowl. And we're going to finish it out today with the Obsession, Calvin Klein Obsession uh, Aftershave, which goes along with the soap. It's the same scent as the soap and doesn't look like there's much of a restrictor there. So I'll put my finger over it and use my finger as the restrictor. And we're going to be off to the races and smelling great today. And feeling great having an ex having had, I should say, an excellent shave. Oh yeah, that smells nice. Let's go so for a second round. Why not? Just a little more. If you get this, by the way, use your finger because there's no restrictor on this splash. And I'll link it below. All right. Very nice. Woo, that was a good shave. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.